and he wants to smoke instantly. I was completely unaware that he knew how to do that. He parried and then he talked shit right after. You don't know how embarrassing that is for an NPC to talk shit. <clears throat> I can't believe that just happened. And he's done. <laughs> Not too shabby. Not too shabby. You're really parrying me. That's crazy. Done me a favor. That ain't never happened to me before. It's just the destiny. Don't, cause you like to smear it. Don't smear it. You can and always you reapply it, and you can always, you can always fix it. So I'm gonna try and hurry up and fight these gargoyles. We'll be going off that tower and defeat the gargoyles. I'm gonna go ahead and start some beef with these guys. Maybe I should not have started beef with these guys. I'm good though. I'm good. Oh, I'm not good. I'm good. I want to take my side, you know. If you if you're dumb like me and decide to fight them all at once, you know what? Watch this. That's the super move that I'm talking about. All right, let's go up these stairs. It'll be a baddie right here. Watch out for him. Ooh. See, and since we're in this tight little corridor with the type of weapon that I have. Oh, listen, this stance right here, there's a chance for him to parry you. So I'd like either kick the shit out of him or don't attack. All right, this mage man here, right? He's going to bring a whole lot of these little people. Lock it. Basically what he does, that little dance, that little dance he does will power up all these little people. Oh, here we go. Watch this. Another one. Ah, ah, get away. Just seen that damage. It's time for the mage. After I smoked all of his minions, he's pretty easy. See, pretty easy. All right, before we go and progress, we gonna go this way. All right, it'll be another parry baddie. Right, he's not really a problem. Gonna run all the way around this little U shape, break these chairs, free this man that's been stuck for I don't know how long. Pick up these uh, this humanity, break through this little door right here. Run up these stairs, and you will come across the greatest snake in this game. Then I am in luck. Could you help me? But what he has for you is worth the risk. Go ahead and talk to him. You can speed through it. I truly appreciate this, and I guarantee a reward. Only later. Right. A whole lot of nothing. So we're going to leave this man alone. We'll deal with him later. Go up this ladder, and this will be on our way to fight the twin gargoyles now since you spoke to my man hold up there's two of them we're gonna talk to my man solar right we're gonna wait for him to summon there he is my guy he will help us fight these gargoyles not like they're difficult because you know i've been through this many times before but for someone new they may be uh maybe hard go ahead and run through this cool little cutscene. Right. Now at first, you want to try and get rid of this man as fast as possible. But in the process, ugh, you want to get rid of his tail. Because as you see, it drops. Oh, damn. Come on, Solera, do something. See, his homeboy already came down. Fire hurts. I just want to let you know that. You can let Solera uh, take most of the damage. The first gargoyle down, this makes it so much easier. Mm. I'm cool with that. And that's it. Not that easy. Oh, I didn't get to wave him goodbye. Uh, and that's that fight. That wasn't long at all. But you see how easy it was using Solaire. And this Drake Sword. We're gonna go up this ladder. Long ass ladder. And we're gonna ring this bell. I probably should have kept that one guy alive. Basically unlocks a whole nother part of the game. Now I'm contemplating. There's a man at the bottom of this ladder who strictly deals with online play. Magneto. Greeting. I am Oswald of Kareem. Thou art a friend. Cometh thou to confess. Thou art welcome. Any I usually <laughs> smoke him. But since I have no need to right now. Use this homeward bone and go back to Andre. Check to see if that one gate lifted. Oh, this is not Andre. We're gonna go up this way. We're gonna see if this gate has opened. I don't think it has. Uh, we're gonna save our souls and we are back. Uh, Moonlight Butterfly. Actually, hold up. 
Firelink Shrine. So if y'all remember that guy, right? Alatric of Kareem. I think that's his name. I'm gonna go and pay him a visit because he owes us something. RP Bozo. So here's here's the guy that we saved from that little tower in that hidden closet. Ah, hello there. I have your reward. Please accept it. He gives us a nice sunlight medal. I am grateful to you for freeing me. <laughs> Not enough for you. <laughs> and after that, he gives you absolutely... You again. What is it? Nothing. So what we're going to do here... We're going to give him one push. Hmm. Ow. And we're going to give him another push. Later. Because if we do not do that, and we progress further, he will end up unaliving this firekeeper. And this firekeeper allows us to use these firekeeper souls to make our Estes flask regenerate more health. So yeah, she's uh, pretty important. And I'm pretty sure all I have to do is sit down and come back. No. I forgot how I get it to spawn. Do I want to do the butterfly first? I don't want to lose my humanity. I'm going to turn into an ugly raisin. I guess we can go over that way. We can fight that uh, level 2 asylum get demon. So this is a hidden path. To get on here, you have to, well, yeah, do a nice little spin, spin, and they jump. That's how I do it. It always works. Sometimes. These are keys to the asylum that we're about to go to. And I'm not sure if the master key will allow us to go in there. Curl up like a nice little egg. Wait about 15 seconds. And he transports you back. Yo, why is he cheesing like that? He's so happy to go on that ride. But beware, it will not be as simple as when we first started off. There are baddies, and they hear you, and they're coming. They're coming with heat. Ow! I should have just pulled my sword out. Trying to be all cool, trying to be funny. Now I gotta do it all over again. Well, actually, here, check this out. It's kind of good that happened, because we can come down here and collect our reward. Humanity, yeah, okay, right. And then the ring of favor and protection. Now what this bad boy does, it boosts your health or stamina and load. Only downside to this is it breaks when you take it off. Me, I usually keep it on throughout the whole playthrough. The boss that we're gonna be fighting is pretty strong magically. I mean like very strong magically. We got a black knight shield. All right, do not walk there yet you are not ready trust me what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it to this kid we're gonna attract his boyfriend we're gonna give it to him we're gonna rest at this bonfire because if you so happen to die down there then you gotta go all the way up you gotta make that jump crawl into a ball and you get dragged back over here and no one wants to go through all that before going back over there i want you to come over here say hi to your good old friend he fights he fights back actually try and go for a backstab <clears throat> Just like last time, you were no match. He drops a crest shield. That's just the regular version of what we got, but it's way better against magic. And since the boss we're gonna be fighting is magic, guess what we're gonna be doing? Go ahead and level up or um, go ahead and chill. Watch out for these guys. And get ready to fight for your life. You're gonna take a couple steps and you're gonna fall. Now what I want you to do is spam whatever roll button. Damn, so you can get rid of this man. And then run. The way this man is, check this out. He's thick just like the other one. But every attack he does has that blowy up effect. Oh, maybe I'm out of my league. So yeah, just be mindful of that. Oh, I'm not supposed to be here right now. I'm doing 85 damage to this man. And yeah, the level that I'm at now, this magic damage will most likely one-shot me. And that's what I like about this game. You don't have to be a specific level. Like, you're not blocked behind a wall that says, you can't go here because you're not this strong. Oh yeah, try not to be backed into this little tunnel here. I mean, I'm fine with him doing these, these slams. Oh yeah, and I, just a tip, I should have said this earlier. Wait until that little force field completely disappears. Because even if the attack happens, 
and it's still coming out and you run into it, that shit will hurt. After this little boss fight, I'm going to go and fight a knight. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! Nah, that was gonna hurt. Alright, a couple more swings and then we'll be out of here. I missed. I missed again. I missed again. I knew exactly what was going I knew that was gonna happen. Get away! And that's him. Well, that's not him, but you know. The Giat Asylum Demon 2.0 has been slain. Now we can go back and purchase that key. Now here you will fight probably someone who was way more difficult than the boss we just fought. So equip the shield that's pretty strong. I mean like blocks 100% physical, stability's at high, because this man hits hard. And unless you want to test out your parrying skills, which I don't recommend with this guy, go for your backstabs. Just swing around him with your shield, with your guard up, and stab him in the back. I just put him in a loop. Let's see if I can do it three times in a row. Boom! GG, scrub. I really should have got that. Oh, that doll I picked up? It'll come in handy in the future. I should have said to make this process a whole lot quicker. Just don't even... Don't even rest at any of those bonfires. But then you run the risk of dying and having to run all the way back. Always go left, because if you don't, you're just gonna fall off. Undead Asylum, can I climb up from here? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of these bones, right? To go back over there and get that get that ring. Yo, go back this way. All these people respawn. Keep that shield up. Go ahead and lure this man out first. Because like I always say, people with spears don't ever... Oh! Mark my words. I was wrong. Go ahead and open this up. You're going to use the key. You're still going to have it. It's not like it explodes or anything. Grab this thing, which improves balance on poor footing. Such as swamps. You're going to take yourself back down this way. And then successfully run away from everyone. Still do not run through the middle. It will definitely fall on you. Keep that shield up and juke him and juke him and juke him. Ouch, you might get hit. But remember, I don't know what you remember. I wasn't gonna make a clever reference, but it, it wasn't clever at all. Actually here, yeah, try and get in the habit of when you fall from somewhere, roll. Like as soon as you hit the ground, it'll prevent you from like staggering. We gonna go over here. I'm gonna show you what that treasure was. Uh, jump down here, jump down here, then we get all these boxes. <laughs> Just some basic starter items, homeward bones. Now here, you want to move exactly the pace that I'm going. I mean, you can pick everything up if you want. That's what I usually do, because I uh, grab this thing. Oh, I lied. That's the wrong thing. Grab this thing. Sheesh. This is why hander. Uh oh. Now, this may be unfortunate. Um, yeah, this place is actually the worst. Oh! Why is he so fast? Yeah, don't stay here too long. Yeah, just uh, stay away from them. The thing with them skeletons is once you kill them, they don't stay down. They're like dry bones off of Mario. You know, once you step on them, they fall apart, and then they come back together, and then they rebuild themselves. That's exactly what they do. Oh, miracles? No, 